Texas family is calling for more transparency inside urgent cares. They believe that could have saved their daughter's life. We first met the Wattenbargers last year, and they say they assume that Betty was being treated by a doctor. As KXA investigator Arzo Dose explains, they hope new legislation will now provide more transparency when it comes to who's treating you. Those were paintings of her favorite characters. And then there's also her hat and some of her toys behind me, too. Jeremy Wattenbarger's office is now his little girl's bedroom. Because I wanted Betty all around me. Jeremy says Betty died a little over two years ago from flu complications. He says they had rushed her to an urgent care near Dallas-Fort Worth, and he thought she was being treated by a doctor. But it was a nurse practitioner who he says wasn't wearing a badge and didn't introduce herself. He acknowledges that they didn't people. ask for that During information. We would have known that she was an advanced practicing nurse and said, you know what, she probably doesn't have the skills to, to see Betty. Um, you know, just based on Betty's picture, the way she looked that day. That lack of transparency is what the family is pushing to change. They've been working with State Representative Jared Patterson out of North Texas. He just filed Betty's law. It would require health care workers practicing in freestanding ERs and urgent care clinics to wear a photo identification badge. The bill says the badge must include a first or last name, the department which the health care worker is associated with, and the type of license held. If there's violations, then the medical care facility could be fined by the Health and Human Services Commission. We're required to wear a badge that clearly identifies as to whether or not we're a registered nurse or an advanced practice nurse or a licensed vocational nurse. Um, it has to have our name and any certifications. The Texas Nurses Association says the requirement is part of their Nurse Practice Act. And if a violation is reported, then there are disciplinary actions taken by the Texas Board of Nursing. But by having state policy that's very clear and transparent, it, it reduces the variability that you see between institutions. The Texas Medical Association, which represents physicians, says patients should always know who's treating them. You know, it's about um, sort of certification of a level of experience of the individual that you're seeing in consultation. How would this have helped you guys? It, it would have helped us to make a better informed decision. Jeremy says they've missed so much. Betty, who was autistic, was learning to ride her bike. She would have been nine years old now. Something's got to come out of this that's good because Betty was just, she was such a pure heart and so good. Arzo Dost, KXAN Investigates. And we have found no documents that claim that the urgent care was being deceptive in who was treating patients. We've tried repeatedly to reach someone for comment with the urgent care and the nurse practitioner, but our calls have yet to be returned. Now, the nurse practitioner supervising doctor says he has no comment. The family has filed a lawsuit alleging medical negligence. Now, the attorney representing the urgent care and caregivers who treated Betty says he does not respond to the media on pending litigation. In a legal response to the lawsuit, the attorney says that the defendants deny the allegations and that Betty's cause of death was due to pre-existing health conditions. There's a big push now in the legislature to give nurse practitioners more authority. Right now, they can treat patients as long as they're under a doctor's supervision. Their supporters say that they can provide treatment that's as safe as a doctor. But many doctors say while they play an important role, their level of training makes a difference.